Hello, welcome back to episode 5. The last time we tried Ruinous Shores, and it was pretty ruinous. The core got destroyed, I didn't get defense up, there were enemies coming all the time. Let's see if I can do better. Let's see if we can make the Ruinous Shores less ruinous. We didn't even manage to gather any kind of resources we could use for technology. It's so sad, really. So I'm not sure. Do I try the same cheesy tactic again? Do I try to wall off the main entrances? Try to protect against flying enemies while they're still flying? Or do I just defend the base as it is? I think I'm tending towards the second one, because the first one was really hard. Alright. Threat medium. They're not kidding. The threat has been medium indeed. Let's do it. Here we are, same place. But now the core is a new one. Okay, so much for lead. So much for copper, I mean. Lead is coming right up. Like last time, I will create some air defenses here. So I think the most important resource we have lost the last time was time. Nothing else. Just plain old time. We needed more time to build defenses, we needed more time to think, but instead we've been very busy. And I think this happens sometimes. That's th this happens in many places where you're so busy the only thing you, you would really need is just to stop and think about stuff, find out what's going wrong, find out what the solution might be, but you're so busy trying to fix things that you don't have time. So let's make sure we have time this time. I know, this could be better, but I'm just so scared. I want our defenses to work this time. I want to be sure that the core is secure at least. Okay, so far so good. Let's add some layers here. We could use some more copper. I think the, the distribution lines here are worth improving. Much better. Okay, these guys are filling up. And so, at last, it feels like we're a little bit safer. But of course, it's such a big map and we have just a tiny, tiny part of it. So here would be a good place to protect ourselves. Two enemies coming, but this time we are prepared. This time they will not be able to get ahead of us. There he comes. There he goes. Nice. And the next one should be coming from the bottom, right? Oh, he's shooting at our own old walls. Okay, this gives us, us time. Let's see, what can the scatter get us? Ammunition, scrap, lead, metaglass. Okay, good to know. Core has been under attack, but only slightly, only briefly. All right. Let's place some more walls here. And let's get this graphite going. There's a few things I want to be using the, the coal for. I want to be using it for graphite. And I want to be using it to produce some energy as well. But of course we we'll also need to, it to make some silicone. 
one thing after the other. I wonder, is there some way to prioritize buildings? Because in the last game especially, I think I've had situation where, situations where I would have liked to make sure that a certain building gets built first. But I haven't gotten around to actually be able to do this. Oh, this is not good. There. The enemies are coming. They're slow. The last time I've played this game, I've built walls here, here, and here. And the enemies all came here, and somehow it worked. But this was 5.0. Maybe, maybe the enemies have gotten meaner in the meantime. Or maybe I've done something wrong, who knows? Okay. They're coming, they're shooting, they're leaving. I want some silicon production going on here. There's our silicon. So we want stuff to be coming from the bottom. And, oh, you know what, maybe not the bottom, maybe, maybe this is the way we want to structure it. It's going to be produced this way. And then the final silicone is going to come out this way. And go right into the core. With a bridge conveyor. We don't need it, but safe is safe. And we'll be also able to use the silicone for some for some hails maybe. Some hails will be nice. And we also want the coal to get up here. And let's see, we need to decide. We want it to go into this router. Come on, dude. <laughs> we will need to protect it somehow. There, like this. And this is also a router. We want we want some major sand production over here. Just to make sure we have silicone and then Need some energy as well, right? There we go. Sand is coming, coal is coming. We can try to get more coal. And we'll want some air defenses here. So these guys will leave us alone. How can we get some air defenses going? Well, we would need some... Oh, we have some scrap here. Let's see. Let's use some scrap to protect us. There. A few of these. Then we'll send it here. Can we bridge this? Is this big enough? Well, unfortunately, it's not. Hmm. How can we get some scrap there? Well, we could also... You know, we could just not get it there. We could just place a few basic turrets there. And call the day for now. It's not much, but it, it will help shoot down a few ships which cause trouble. One more layer here, 
one more layer here. Okay, we are producing graphite, we are producing silicone. We are very scared. We are not using most of the map. But this is a start. This is already better than the last thing we've, we've got. Now, we can, we, can, we can do our best here. We can gather more copper. And then see how we can slowly come out of this shell. Also connect some electricity here. Put a mender right in the middle. Do we have enough power? Yes, we have enough power for now at least. And we can connect all of them to this one, just so it looks a little cleaner. edge is going to suffer. But we can keep it going. All right, so the next thing I want to have is, first of all, I want to close this one off. Well, eventually. Maybe not now when the en enemies are close. And I want to have lots and lots of hails standing around here. Oh no. I didn't see that the entrance at the bottom there was, was open. Alright, so we're doing this. And let's just let's just close this off. close this one off. So hopefully this will prevent people from pathing through there. So they go, they'll try to go to, to the top right away. And we also need to close one more thing. Where's the convenient? Maybe over here. Maybe closing this one off will give us the result we want. Because the only thing we want is we want like to discourage units from coming here. We don't want this to hold forever. In fact, we don't expect anybody to get close to these walls. They'll just know, well, I could run around or I could run into them, so I guess I'll run around, hopefully. So they go this way and this way. And right through the open place we left over there. Just to make a point. Alright, so far so so good. This is already quite acceptable, I must say. Way better than the last thing we had. Now the only thing left is to get some silicone here. What's the best way to do this? Could add a router here. So I basically wanted to land What do I want? I want I want to have some place between here and there, right? Oh man, this is hard. Okay, I wanted to go from there. I wanted to 
land here. Sorry, dude. So it lands there. So this becomes our like not not the main line of defense. Because the hails are going to take care of most of our problems. So let's prioritize the hails. <laughs> we'll need to take the copper out of there. Do you have copper? Because these things certainly cannot shoot copper. Okay. There we go. Now a few more of these. And of course a few more of these. And I think we are set at least when it comes to the defense of our core. I think we are pretty good now. Maybe a few menders would be nice. But otherwise, I think we might be able to survive this level. <laughs> Finally. And maybe even we have created some space down there. We might be able to mine more resources in the bottom part of this map. We'll, the only thing we will need to take care of is uh, flying enemies. Alright, let's see. How is our energy production going not so well I would really like to have some steam generators here and if this falls this might be an issue as well so we'll need to reinforce it if possible oh I see the scatters over there have been a great investment Good. <laughs> All right, the resources are looking better. We have got some copper, we have got some lead. Graphite is being produced. Uh, we have we have too much coal, I think. So, let's scale up the graphite production. Yes, <laughs> build these. <sighs> this is a little bit disheartening because there's so many resources, but we are kind of trapped in here. But on the other hand, I don't think there's some kind of resource type we are missing right now. And the goal here is to beat the level to be able to progress to the next one because titanium will be only found in, in future levels. Yeah, I think I like this one better. I think we are onto something. <laughs> the hails are getting all the stuff they need. We can throw some stuff over here. And protect our, ourselves with walls. This is not the level where I would, would try to gather lots, lots of, and lots of resources. It's actually quite hard. It feels quite hard. I think now we've stab stabilized, but before we have been in a, in a bad shape. There they come, and there we go. I like hails. So there's that. Containers. Our plan seems to be working out. The enemies are making a big big loop around this place. Yeah. 
here we are constrained on we're constrained on sand that's weird okay so we need this router for example we need this router to get some sand how can we do this we can do this by producing some sand right next to it connect these two this one this one then these are obsolete There we go. Add some more sand to the mix, maybe not there, because it will pollute everything. And we could as well add one more here. Oh, they're breaking through, but only through, through the corners. Now, I'm a bit nervous about the air defenses here. I think we can do better, just in case. Isn't it funny that three mechanical drills can provide these scatters with all the ammunition they need? I think it's kind of, kind of funny. And just in case we get some kind of bad company here. Our core is pretty susceptible to AR attacks, I think. Alright. Time to fix our lead production. We are not striving to be super efficient, but at the same time, like we can do a bit better than we're doing right now. Good, 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 good. We're not constrained on coal. This place makes me a bit nervous. I'll add a few wall, more walls. Oh, may, no, maybe not here. The trick is you always want to leave a bit of space for the enemies to walk through. Never mind this. Because if they will think, well, we will not get here, through here, then we might as well like walk here and shoot, then our defenses will not hold at all. I would like to, I would have liked to make use of this whole space here, but I don't think there's enough time which makes it useful to expand there. Oh, I know what we can do with this far away coal place. We can use it for some energy production. Because energy is kind of needed. There we go. And everything we produce here is going right into combustion generators. is going to well, maybe even come into a battery why not and then we'll need to get it to go to the bottom somehow that's the place where we want our menders to be after the core is filled to capacity with an item any extra item Incinerated. Okay. <laughs> There's only so much we can collect. I understand. And well, let's put this here as well. All right. So this is what the bigger core is for. Wait a sec. We can we can research. There's no need to waste stuff. This could be cool. This is not needed. 
it. Um, solar panels I never used, to be honest, but hey, why not? We're not producing any metaglass. We can pr start producing metaglass. That was something I forgot. And even didn't even realize I forgot about it. Okay, where is the kiln? There's the kiln. I think actually it might be enough to have just two of them. Let's route some stuff in here. Make sure it's coming out this way. How are we going to get sand to them? Maybe, maybe a bridge conduit is the thing I want to do here. Bridge conduit and 12. Goodbye, battery. So sorry, I don't need you anymore. Oh, I might need you, but for convenience I will choose not to use you. should be on this map should be easy to come by come up here here and there and split up the router goes here in there and the last thing we have to not forget is wait a second this is not this is not this is how it's oh my I was thinking like for a second did I mess up because I think I needed coal and lead not sand and lead but of course this is how it is all right we are positive somebody broke through oh my This inconvenient to say the least. <laughs> Let's tend to rebuild. How did this happen? Were there some runner dudes? Who shot it a lot? It must have been so, right? Oh, we also lost the connection there. Now, now we are repairing stuff again. I think the hails would be way more efficient if they were in place of these duos here. Gotta do with what we have. Gotta make it work. We also can. I think we haven't connected these two energy producing centers yet. Now we're good again. Alright. Oh my, what a surprise. an unpleasant surprise. Let's reinforce it. There. Okay. As you say. small walls. I'm quite happy we've decided to build this kind of defense. It seems to be the right thing to do. Now, just to confuse exploding dudes, I'll go and build some walls here. Let's see if it works. We are getting closer to the Guardian. Just 10 more waves. What can we do to survive this? Hmm. I'm 
not quite sure. Let's see, all, all our production lines are still working fine. The silicone does not have enough room to leave, it seems. It's a bit slow, but it's still it's still being delivered. It's something. The opponents are being shot to pieces, which is nice. Meta glass and lead are being mixed, which is not that good. I think I could try to. I could try to do the following. Just send it around because there's plenty of room in the core. We just don't have much access to it, so this should make it possible for the lead to flow. Alright, here's the thing I'm going to try. I remember distributors were so supposed to be good, right? Ah, but they're probably only good if you if you want to output two distinct lines. Now I hope, yeah, this this kind of messes up. This kind of messes up our meter glass extraction. Yeah, it's filling up. Okay, never mind. They need their own little lab kind of thingy. There we go. There we go. Right in there. Or could be a bit more healthy. I think we'll be fine, but I'll just add something to it. The reinforced corner here is doing work, which is nice. We have enough power. I wish we could get to some water. Water for the steam generator generators would be nice. And having having our turrets here would be better because all of our opponents are running through there in any case. Just to make sure this stays this way. There they are. About to come and explode. Ouch. Yeah, but we're quite good. I especially like that we are repairing stuff. We have 23. This is how far we've come the last time, and I wonder that, that we've come so far with the scrappy defense I've had. Well, my defense was just flying across buildings, hiding from shots, and trying to shoot people myself. Not good. Alright, let's take the time. So, what can we research? This looks promising. Core foundation, why not? Ground factory, we might need eventually. But right now I'm holding off on it. Microprocessor. Now this is tempting. Lancer, wave. Hmm. This is useful if we have some kind of fire. Thermal generator, well, maybe eventually, sometimes. Titanium, oh, we need titanium so bad. Bridge conduits. All right, I think this is fine. I think we have, we have put some resources to use that they're not just dis destroyed as soon as they hit the core. Oh, what a path of destruction. Let's fix this one. It doesn't matter much, but we still will. Good. So, I'm wondering, will we be able to survive the boss in this level? I've got some respect now. I think this might actually be harder than expected. Me shooting you guys does not help. You might wonder why are we using silicone for the hails? The point is that they are, if you're 
putting silicone in there. They are homing, and they provide knockback, so they home in on enemies. Which is kind of, of cool. I'm not seeing it right now, but I guess it's useful if you have got some some fast-moving enemies who would have evaded otherwise. And there we go. Alright, the graphite is being produced. The coal is a little bit stuck. Would this maybe be? I think this, this might be a good place for a distributor. Thanks so much for the hint, guys. It's... Uh, I would have forgotten that they exist. There we are. Way better. So three, three things come in and three different things come out. That's kind of nice. I wonder, can we sneak in a repair dude in here? Maybe somewhere in here. So nobody sus sus suspects that he's there. And maybe one more here. Because usually enemies don't come this far. We still have enough power, this is nice. This is being repaired. That's good. Meta glass is flowing, lead is flowing. We are producing a lot of meta glass with these two kilns. Really a lot. This um, this reminds me of castles. Sometimes they have got these huge reinforcements at the sides. Now I know what they're for. They're going against this exploding dudes, it seems. Or maybe they've been, been they've had some other use, and I'm just making stuff up. Probably I'm making stuff up. Now, leave my corner alone. I need it intact. Wave 26. And the next ones are coming already. I'm kind of missing... I haven't seen flying waves in a while. Is it because these guys are really good at keeping them back? Probably. <laughs> and this one is... it seems to be sand constraint. We could be using some more sand here. If it's a flying enemy, it would make sense to provide our scatters with some meta glass. But I think all of these should be enough already. But if, if there's a flying boss, I will try to build some meta glass using sc uh, scatters real quick. Because I think meta glass is better, right? Yeah. I don't know what this is. Frag, so it's it's better against lots of little dudes. All right, wave twenty-seven. The enemies just don't don't seem to stop spawning. When one wave is arriving, the next one is already already on their way. And the next one. Hey, there we go. Could we have gotten more materials out of here? Yeah, sure. For sure, we could have. But I'm quite happy we survived, given the last time. Given the chaos. holds. This one doesn't hold because it's not getting repaired. I'm just rebuilding it all the time out of sheer principle. So this must be wave 27 running. Wave 28 will spawn real soon. Approaching in two waves. Okay, let's see. Can we do some research while we wait? Ground factory? I don't quite want to build a ground factory. Not yet, at least. Mm, this can be useful sometimes. Oh, this can be useful sometimes. <laughs> now we now we can produce slag. 
for anything else we will need some titanium maybe we'll find some useful application for this message is good you know eventually i'll want to use the logic here but i think right now is not not the case uh, these are cool sometimes that the map has got places to put them thermal gener generators are pretty pretty cool and um yeah i think that's it i think that's good let's see that's rebuilds it's just a huge tortoise shell keeping us from harm we have got enough resources to launch the next core maybe we can even create a better bigger one who knows these guys it's not important but it's kind of polluting the copper line with graphite this is being produced we could be producing way more silicon but i think it's it's also fine wave 28 wave 29 will spawn afterwards and then we'll see what the boss has got in, in store for us with a bit of luck we'll be able to capture this and maybe unlock some more stuff my main goal is to get to a level where we can get titanium and then thorium because once we have these we can just begin unlocking the whole tree. Guardian approaching in one wave. Okay. What a big map. I think this is this must be the challenge. That it's so huge. Alright, is everybody ready for the final wave? It's coming along just half a minute, and then we'll know if we can secure this sector or not. This is not the kind of defense I have imagined, but it's it's been doing its work. It's been keeping us safe. But I thought, like, when I was starting out, out I thought this whole place is going to be our base. There's no reason not to. Like, there are enemies coming out, sure, but we'll just shoot them down, right? Well, apparently not. Apparently it's not that easy. There he is, a guardian. Where is he spawning? Is he on the top? Can I scroll? Well, paused. Can. Oh, there he is. Is it just one dude or is it two dudes? Oh, apparently it's two. Okay. You know, I think I'm, I'm feeling confident. I don't think. I don't think it will be much of an issue. Sure they come, sure they'll be shooting, and sure I'll build one more wall here just in case, <laughs> so they don't get any funny ideas of going this way around, but I think we should be fine. Yeah, they're approaching, slowly but surely. I don't even know... I heard there are units which are able to shoot across walls in this edition. I hope these are not those which can shoot across walls. But even if they can, like, I think we'll be fine. There he is. Oh, he's doing damage. Yes, he's doing a bit of damage, but it will not be enough. It will not be enough. We will be fine. We will prevail. Victory and revenge is ours. He's got some kind of shield. There it goes. <laughs> Has this been the, the Guardian? Let's just do it. Can I select it? Sorry. I can't. I think 
can confirm. This little piece here has been very helpful in keeping the walls intact. The other ones has had their damage spread, but this one has been good getting all the all these shots. And these little labyrinths have been very helpful, but of course the the hails are what has been doing most damage. I think putting them up here would be nice as well. And there we go. Sector captured. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> the previous attempt was kind of painful. So we could research some stuff. We could research this. I will never use it, but we have it now. And we could research a ground factory. Can we use it for something? Windswept islands. Oh, this one is next. Fungal pass, cultivators, biomass. Okay, so I think the biomass synthesis facility will be next. I'll just click this. I don't have enough silicone. I need to wait and unlock it. <laughs> and we, we can stop collecting silicone here. Because I really want to know. Let's see, can we somehow... Can we somehow give this production line more sand? I think we can. I think we can by making away with these. By sending the sand in here. And maybe by guiding the silicone to go this way. Now we can put up a few extra drills. It's not much, but it will help make a difference, I think. And then we'll just wait around for a little bit and see if we can get a bit more silicone. Silicone, meta glass, 204, 200. We're getting it at a pretty spin, pretty steady pace. I'm really looking forward to titanium. These um, these conveyor belts are becoming a bottleneck, I think. We are already. We have got way too much copper. Can we spend the copper somehow? Mm, on something? Anything? Don't think so. Titanium, slag, pirate sites. We can produce some slag while we're waiting. We have got some scrap around here. Where is it? There was some scrap somewhere. There was some scrap here. So we can use scrap, we can... What was it? It was somewhere here, right? We can... We can pulverize it. And we can incinerate it. No, we can melt it. And this should give us a bit of slag. So like this, kind of a bit over there. And the only thing missing right now is a bit of electricity. And of course we need to guide some we need to guide some scrap in there in the first place. Okay. Oh yeah. It's what do we need? Oh, we, we just need to we just need to guide slack in there. I didn't know. I thought it was it was a kind of production line. Nice. Okay, have we unlocked something? Nope. 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 Doesn't seem like it. Well, we had we have slack completed at least. Pirate tides, poor pads. Hmm. Can we produce pirate already? Pirate Oh, we have it. We need coal, lead, and sand. We have it somewhere, right? There's coal, there's lead. 
and there is sand. This is the perfect place. So bridge conveyor to here. Just send it over there. Just create our first pyrotide here. One more thing, we will research it. Oh, this is nice. An air factory, I like it. It fires at ground targets. Alright, I think that's it. We have beaten this level, we have secured the sector, we have unlocked a lot of research, research, and I'm looking forward to go to the next one. I hope you liked it, it was a little less unsuccessful than the last one. If you did, give me a thumbs up, feel free to subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. So far so good, see you in the next one. Bye now!